Hey guys, so today we're going to be working on this butterfly stitch pattern. I'm going to be using this to turn this pattern into like a pair of shorts that will tie up the sides. It'll go really well with the uh, butterfly tops that are going kind of viral right now. So you could basically use any kind of yarn and corresponding hook size, but today I'm going to be using a size F or a 3.75 millimeter hook. I'm going to be using this Burnett Softy Cotton. It's 60% cotton and 40% acrylic. It's a size 3 light. It does call for a 4mm hook, but I just sized down because I couldn't find a 4mm. Um, and this is in the color Golden Haze. You'll also want a couple of yarn or stitch markers and a pair of scissors. So the sizing for your shorts will really depend on personal preference. So you're going to be making two panels. So one for the front and one for the back. And you're going to want to leave some space on the sides for you to get this cute little tie effect that'll go up the side of your hips. So you'll want to give yourself as much coverage as you want or as little coverage as you want. Just keeping in mind that these panels are going to be covering your private areas. So um, this pattern just basically works in multiples of seven. So go ahead and just chain in multiples of seven until you get the amount of coverage for your panels that you'd like. For demonstration purposes, I'm just going to do a small portion here. I'm not going to um, work up an entire panel with you, um, but go ahead and work a chain of multiples of seven. And then you're going to want to add four extra chains at the end. And this will be important because our butterflies will start with um, two double crochets on each end. So once you chain the extra four stitches, just chain one more time because you're going to double crochet in the second stitch from your hook. So you made your first double crochet right here and just go ahead and make a double crochet in every stitch across. So this is going to be the start of making our butterflies. So this pattern will repeat throughout um, no matter how tall you want to make your panel. So you're going to start off by chaining three and then you're going to turn your work and this chain of three will count as your first double crochet and you're just going to add one more double crochet in the next stitch so that you have two there. You're going to chain seven and then you'll want to skip seven stitches down here. So go ahead and put a double crochet in the eighth stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then just do a double crochet into that eighth stitch. We'll be left with that kind of shape going on right now. So we made our first double crochet. Go ahead and make seven all together. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, And then go ahead and chain seven again. And then skip the seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have two stitches left. So go ahead and do a double crochet in the last two stitches there. So that's why we did the um, extra chain of uh, four chains at the start of our multiples of seven, or at the uh, end, I'm sorry. So we have the two at the start of our row and the two at the end, and um, we'll go ahead and work on our next row. This next row will be a literal repeat of our previous row, so you're just going to chain up three. Turn your work, put a double crochet in that previous row's double crochet, 
So we're starting with the two here. And then we're going to chain seven. And then just do the um, seven double crochets. So go ahead and repeat that same exact row and I'll meet you at the end. Now this is what that next row should look like. It's the exact copy of the previous uh, rows there. And don't forget to put your last double crochet in the third chain of that chain up three here. So for this next row, we're just going to chain up three. We're going to turn our work and we're going to put two double crochets in this stitch here. And then we'll do one more so that we have three double crochets at the start of this row. Then we're going to chain two and we're going to find the fourth stitch from this original foundation double crochet row. So one, two, three, four. Kind of just pinch that stitch there because it's going to take a little juggling with our hands here. We're going to yarn over and we're going to do a double crochet into that fourth stitch. So we're going to trap all of these um, chains here. So yarn over, put your hook through that fourth stitch and you're going to be pulling up the yarn uh, behind all of these rows here. And then you're just going to make your double crochet. So you can see that that double crochet kind of just trapped those um, chains in between there because we're forming the wings of our butterfly. Now we're going to chain two and in the next double crochet stitch we're going to put two double crochets into that same stitch. So now you can see the shape of our little butterfly that's formed here. So now go ahead and do a double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're stopping before that last stitch here because now we want to repeat that same pattern for our next butterfly. So we want to do the two double crochets in that same stitch. So we have the two in that same one there. We're going to chain two. We're going to locate the fourth stitch here. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna pinch that so that we could yarn over and do a double crochet through that stitch pulling the yarn around all of those, those rows there and just completing your double crochet to trap everything. So go ahead and chain two. And then to finish off, you're going to put two double crochets in the next stitch. And then one double crochet in that original chain up three in that third chain. So that you're left with the um, three double crochets at the end. So now um, we're going to finish off uh, this butterfly with our next row. Okay so for our next row here we're just going to start with our chain of three and we're going to turn our work and in our next stitch we're going to put a double crochet and in our next stitch, just a singular double crochet here. And then we're going to put two double crochets in the space here. And then we're going to put a double crochet on top of this previous rose uh, double crochet. And then in the next space, we're going to put the two double crochets again. So for each butterfly you have, you're just going to repeat that. Go ahead and just put a double crochet on top of the previous rows, double crochets here until you reach your next space where you will repeat putting two double crochets into the space, one double crochet on top of that double crochet, and then two double crochets in the space. 
So here's our completed butterflies here. Um, you can, I guess, look at it from either perspective. Um, but now if you want to con continue to make these butterflies on top of each other, you can just continue that same exact pattern um, by chaining up three, turning your work, doing another double crochet, and then starting your butterflies again. If you want to alternate them like I have here, where there's like kind of a butterfly in the middle and to separate the rows here, um, we're going to start by chaining up three, turning our work, doing another double crochet. So that would typically be the start of our next butterfly if we were just stacking them here. But now we're going to do seven double crochets to get to that middle space. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we really have like nine double crochets here. And then we're going to do a chain of seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip the seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then double crochet in the next nine, I believe. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yep, eight and nine. And then you'll just repeat what you did with these previous rows to make your butterfly in its new position now. So for example, it depends on how many multiples of seven you do. So you could see that when I started, I did um, start off with having the two double crochets begin this butterfly. But as I got to my end, you could see that there ended up being the nine here. And that's only because I was alternating and then um, my new butterfly of that next sequence is going to start with the two. So you might not end perfectly how this little swatch is depending on how many multiples you do. So go ahead and make your two panels and then I'll show you how we're going to join for some leg holes. So I have my two identical panels right here on top of each other. Um, and then you want to decide which way you want your butterflies to orient. So I want them to be facing this way. This will be my waist here and then this is where my leg holes will be um, worked here. So you want to find the center stitch on each of your panels and um, I ended up doing 56 and then plus four stitches. I had 60 and then I found the 30th stitch and put my stitch markers on both of these. We're going to make a chain that will fit um, right where our crotch is going to lie. So um, you might have to kind of try these on where you're tucking this front panel into your um, underwear or your shorts and then tucking the back panel into the back of your underwear or shorts and then doing a chain and then seeing if that gives you enough coverage or length um, for your crotch area. So go ahead and attach your yarn to um, one of your center stitches, do your chain. I think I'm going to do 25, but I'll let you know. And then we're going to slip stitch it to the other panel. Okay, so this is what you should be left with here. So we slip stitched the um, yarn to the center stitch here. I did a chain of 25 that seemed to be sufficient for me. And then I slip stitched it to the um, center stitch on the opposite panel. So this is where this is going to lie along in between your legs at the crotch point, and these will work up to be our leg holes. So go ahead and um, slip stitch your um, yarn here and then you could fasten off. And then we'll be attaching our yarn, um, depending on what leg hole we wanna make uh, first, we're going to just attach it to the start of our panel here because we'll work down the panel around the crotch and then around to the other panel to start to work these leg openings. So we'll work one at a time.
So I've just turned my panels upside down so that I could start working on these leg holes here. I still have them stacked on one another and I just attached my yarn at the beginning stitch on one of my panels here. So you can go ahead and um, continue with the pattern if you want to be a little extra, which I think I will today. Um, but also feel free to just work regular double crochets and forget about the pattern for the leg holes just to make it easier on yourself. So depending on which route you wish to take, um, go ahead and make that your personal preference. So we're going to start a new um, butterfly here. So we're going to just start by chaining up three. That counts as our first double crochet and I'm just going to be working my tails behind for the first couple of stitches here and then in the next um, stitch we're going to do a double crochet. So now you go ahead and uh, just chain seven. And then skip the seven stitches and do a double crochet in the eighth stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then do um, six more double crochets. So go ahead and just work your pattern until you get to the um, the chains here. All right, guys. So I did my first little butterfly, uh, the start of my butterfly here. I did my seven double crochets. Did my little butterfly here. And then um, I actually got seven double crochets if I did a double crochet in the same stitch that we started our chain, so that middle stitch here. And then you're going to want to do a double crochet in each of the stitches down this crotch portion here. So um, you can go ahead and if you did 25, go ahead and do 25 of them. And we're just going to be working on um, one half of that chain. So. Just go ahead and put it in um, the top loop only because when we work our other leg hole, we're going to be working in the bottom loops. So just go ahead and just go into the top loop only when you're making your double crochets across. So go ahead and I'll meet you when we get to our next panel. Just make sure that you're not twisting this chain here. You want to make sure it stays um, flat. You don't want to twist it up. So the perspective on this gets kind of wonky. So we like started off where we had our panels on top of each other and we were working along until we got to this crotch point. If you have the space, you can just open up your panels to now that you could look at your um, chain part um, on its own here. And then we worked our 25 double crochets here and then we worked a double crochet into our next panel. So if you wanna keep them separated um, for this next part, Definitely feel free for simplicity's sake here. So we're going to work along this second panel now. And um, I'm just going to continue with my butterfly pattern. So I'm going to put a butterfly in this space here. I'm just going to chain seven. And then skip the seven. And we'll see how this works out for us. You might have to just um, modify and put the stitches where you need them to be um, to finish out your pattern here. Yeah, so for whatever reason, I ended up having to add an extra stitch at the end just for my um, stitch count to make sense to continue making my butterfly shapes here. So what you're going to do is um, chain up three and then turn so that you're seeing the back of your work now and you're just going to continue working um, your leg opening for as long as you want it and um, just repeating whatever pattern you're going with so if you're making the butterflies or if you're just doing solid double crochets just continue working um, this one leg hole for now and then you could um, fasten off once you're satisfied with the length um, and then we'll go ahead and repeat that for the other side and I'll show you um, once I reach my desired um, leg opening length. Okay, so I went ahead and just finished my butterfly and I liked that leg length. I like it a little cheeky. 
Um, so you can make these as long or as short as you'd like. And um, when you go to work on the other leg hole, just put it so that um, the rows that you worked beforehand are now down here. And we're looking at the two panels uh, from this perspective now. So you're just going to join your yarn at the um, first stitch here, work your pattern or just your double crochets until you get to the crotch again. And then you're just going to work into the, um, I guess the back loops all down here. And you know, wherever you could um, fit your stitches into just above the other rows, um, double crochets. So just go ahead and make that, you know, if you did 25 or however many you did, just down that crotch length and then continue to the next panel. So go ahead and just do the same number of rows you did with your other leg hole. And then um, pretty much from here, it's just a create your own adventure kind of deal. So you have the base work to make your shorts now. So you can go ahead and customize if you want like a cute little um, ripple stitch along the edge of your leg holes. You can really do any kind of cute decorative border around those leg parts there. Um, you can go ahead and finish your sides where you make specific spots for your chain to loop into, or you could just leave it kind of raw like this and just lace your, um, your side stitch or your side uh, chain here to join your panels. So basically once you finish your leg holes and you do whatever kind of decorative border or or not um, you're going to be working on fastening the sides together so you can go ahead and make a very long chain you can do like 200 or so and then you're just going to use that to lace the sides how you would lace like a shoe or a corset just so that you could tie the sides up so that um, the shorts will stay together and then you could even add like a cute little decorative butterfly at the end of your chains or something so Go ahead and just make this your own, choose your own colors, choose your own size, sizes, and um, I can't wait to see what you guys create. Thank you for joining me today. To add the scalloped edge or these little butterfly tie details, please check out the links in the description below. Thank you.